What is up, YouTube? I am very excited to be filming this for you guys. Now, if you don't know, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Japan. I bought it all from this user on eBay named Poly underscore 100. If you like buying Pokemon Duel Master stuff from Japan, any Japanese imports that are anime related or TCG related, you go to his page right now. Mr. Kohei Nikamaru, the one who runs it, is absolutely amazing. And I really suggest you go buy. This is a very stoked video that I am bringing to you here. I am opening DMD 10 First Deck Oracle Dash. Now that's really sick right there. I've been so hyped about this. If you guys all didn't know, I've got an opening of DM35 coming up. I did already do, record the video and everything. This is just. This is aftermath and whatnot, and I'm putting this up before I put up that video. Now, what was cool about opening this up is it came with a little promo pack. It came with a little promo pack of cards, and I had pulled this card, a Vendetta D2V. It has to do something with the recent addition of uh, D2 fields to the Dual Masses game. I'm not too familiar with D2 fields. Um, Apparently they're kind of like field cards that you can turn upside down to give some sort of effect and it has something to do with the story. I I don't know, I've been kept with up, up with the recent Duel Masters. This is probably the most recent like stuff I have in terms of the card game. So let's bust them out of this sweet plastic case. Oh, there we go. Let's go through it now. How about that? So we got this really nice little uh, plastic deck box in the back. It has the main card, Alternative Sacred Cavalry. So that is incredibly sick. That is really, really sick. So let's go through the cards now. Because, I mean, this is what we're kind of here for. We're starting us off with the, um, the main cards. Alternative Sacred Cavalry. It is a zero creature with a uh, double breaker. Is the new Oracleon race of this set. Now, for anyone who's unaware, Zero Creatures are one of the coolest additions to the Duel Masters card game, but sadly, Zero Creatures have been discontinued. Zero was a civili uh, civilization, I should say, that was brought in to symbolize colorless creatures. They couldn't mix with any other races, they were their very own race. The thing is, is they counted as having no civilization and no color. And as you can see, the cards are all completely white and have that little star at the bottom. That's a symbol of it being a zero sieve card. So that's alternative sacred cavalry. That's really sick. And then we got three copies of another zero creature, Makul, Fighter of Truth. It's a uh, four mana, twenty power uh, blocker. So that's that's very helpful. The next card, this is a this is a dual sieve. So these are really cool. This is Zero Star. He's a nice tactician. I don't exactly remember what this card does, so I'd have to get the uh, deck a proper look through. Look at some of these cards. I do remember some of these cards because I used them before in decks. Sometimes not physical decks, but you get the point. This next one is uh, Kilt. Inga's Mixture, this is a uh, shield trigger creature, you wouldn't believe it, there's like 15 cards in this deck that are shield triggers, literally counted them all, and 15 out of 40, that's a lot of shield triggers. These next two cards are Cardamom Loss of Comfort, now, fun fact is Cardamom is a spice that you cook with, I have no idea how to cook with Cardamom. This next one's based off a spice that I'm not too big of, but it's in one of my favorite foods. Turmeric Floating Apparition. Uh, this is a blocker creature, so that's actually good. It's a 3000 plus with 2 mana, so that's actually really good if you manage to get out a light and a darkness mana on your first turn. Or chuck in a, a dual sieve. I'm not exactly sure how the power attack on that works. This next one is... Divine Punishment of Heaven. I have no idea what this spell does, but it does have some really sweet art on it. Come on, that's sweet. And it's a 3 mana spell, so. This next one is yet again 
colorless. This is Saicho Satori Zorical. So that's incredibly wild. Like that is a it's like a six with five thousand. Going back on the shield triggers with Corteo Spirit Knight. It's a, actually really sick. I think this is like a one of those Rainbow Knights or something. Looks like a Rainbow Knight. I haven't seen Rainbow Knights for a while. This is one of the most popular cards in the regular TCG among Darkness Civ players. Terror Pack. For anyone who re is like, oh hey, I recognize that card, but I don't remember what it does. Terror Pit is a shield trigger that when it comes out, destroys one of your opponent's uh, creatures in the battle zone. And here we have one that's popular with the OCG among Darkness players. Infernal Sign. This one allows you to bring a, I think it's, allows you to bring a 7 or less cost creature from your graveyard and summon that, that into your battle zone. So that's a card that a lot of Darkness Civ players like is playing Inferno Sign, so that's really sick that Inferno Sign is in that deck. Here's another old TCG card, this one came out of the second set of Accrushinators of Doom. Magris Viger Zerv Magnetism. But this is is, is probably uh, one of the most well known initiates other than Toll Visor of Hope and Zir Visor of uh, Lightning. It's that one initiate that taps a monster when it comes out or something like that. But Magris is uh, good for draw power and there's four of them in this deck so that makes it so much more awesome. You summon one of these get to draw a card. So this next one is um, Darkness Southern. It's, uh, it's a shield trigger creature again. Again with these shield trigger creatures man. All of them. All of them. And last but not least we have one hecka sick card in this. Intense Digging Twist. Now this is a shield trigger card and uh, what this does is it, you return a creature from your graveyard to your hand and if it was a light or nature creature that you brought back, you'd be able to draw a card. So that's awesome because there's a good portion of light creatures in this deck. So you can get some pretty good draw power on this. And you kind of need some draw power to bring out all these sick creatures. Especially getting out stuff such as alternative here. Because you know, you want to pull out the, want to pull out the good creatures, man. You want to destroy your opponent. You want to wreck that boy, that girl, or whatever. But anyways, that was the deck. This was uh very fun for me to film, and I love getting to make these Duel Masters videos. So please, if you like this video, you're into the Duel Masters TCG, please subscribe to my channel right here, at this button, and. You can obviously go to the end credit to look at the last video I uploaded. There will also be a an annotation there as well to link to the um, DM35 opening once I've got that uploaded. So anyways, this was Swampara TCG. Keep pulling foils. Alright, so, got Ninja Boy. Zuelus. Vilas, Greedy Dice, Gungus,